Welcome to beautiful Northwest British Columbia, Canada. Hi, my name's Steve Rook and I work for the Ministry of Forest Lands and Natural Resource Operations as an engineering program specialist in Northern British Columbia. Over the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna walk through how I use Venza Maps on a daily basis to help achieve the goals and objectives of our program. An application that I use at Venza on a regular basis is for conducting road inspections, road inventory, contract progress. The ability for us to create attribute schema within a Venza allows us to collect data that's consistent with our policy and our inspection procedures. When I'm doing a road inspection, I will drive to the end of the road, will commence a track. I'm able to add a place mark and collect information specific to those sites real key advantage to that is that the ability for one to export that data once collected in a format of a CSV, a shapefile, or a KML is beneficial for us to make operational decisions on any repair or maintenance that's required. One of my favorite features of Avenza is that we have the ability to import a road edge file, which is a road design, which includes plans, profiles, and cross sections. When you import the road edge file, you will be able to see your location within five to 10 meters of the center line of the road that you've designed. A key advantage to that is that we can do ground truthing prior to any earthworks or construction and identify features such as rock oak crops, anywhere there might be draws where we might want to put culverts or any potential gravel sources within there and other features that may require alteration or modification to your design. Avenza has a really good feature called plotting photos. What happens there is that when you take photos with a camera or drone that have location surfaces on, you are able to import those photos into Avenza and then plot them uh, for the location in which they were taken. What I like for that feature is specifically with using the drone, there's scenarios where we have uh, rivers that reach the bank and they start flowing in different directions. What I'm able to do with the drone is put the drone up, fly it over the feature with a timer set for a photo and follow that new location of where that stream is. Once completed, I bring the drone back, download the photos from the drone into my iPad and then I plot those photos in Avenza. From there, you will see place marks where each photo was taken and then you can take the draw tool in Avenza and now just match those photos up. And now essentially you have a new track that represents the, the new stream location. One scenario that I think that that's an important feature is, is for search and rescue when you've got individuals that could be lost out in the bush. And if they happen to be found or located using a drone, simply by taking a photo, then returning the drone to the pilot, you can then upload that photo into Avenza and then plot it then navigate to where the individuals are. Using the track feature in Avenza supports us for doing volume estimates around stockpiles of crush or sorted rock material that we use for our projects. We can simply do a quick traverse around it, convert it into an area in the app itself and come up with a rough volume. The Venza Maps has been a great asset in helping us in our wildfire suppression efforts. Whether it is for mapping the perimeter of fires, mapping out guard, mapping out assets such as pumps, and other features that are, that are important to identify in our suppression efforts. One of the really good benefits of this is that a lot of times we are out of connectivity and for those that have the ability to transfer data through Bluetooth, whether it be through AirDrop or an Android Bluetooth feature, assist us. 
Having the ability to import custom maps in Avenza is definitely an asset for us as it allows us to create a base map of say our road networks and our bridge infrastructure. And then in addition to that, we're able to find specific layers in a KML file where we can turn on and off when we need it. Well, here I am at Hudson Bay Mountain in Smithers, British Columbia. Not only do I use Avenza for work, I often use it for any recreational activity such as Well, I have a special guest joining me here, Rob Rice from Northern BC Jet Boat Tours. He's an avid fisherman, jet boat enthusiast, and overall adventurer. The location I'm at here now is the Buckley River, and it's the first place that Rob introduced me to steelhead fishing. Even though he claims that he caught a bigger fish that day, I beg to differ. Let's see what Rob has to offer. Take it away. So I'm Rob Bryce from Northern BC Jet Boat Tours, owner operator of a small jet boat touring company. And uh, yeah, I use uh, Venza Maps uh, quite frequently. I use it uh, when I'm out in the water, either in a small boat like this or my big jet boat. And yeah, today I'm gonna give you a few uh, short clips of how I use Avenza Maps and some of the features that provide useful for me when I'm on my tours to be safe out there on the water. I end this journey on the shores of the beautiful Maurice River, location of one of my very first engineering jobs back in the mid 90s. We didn't have a Venza then, sure could have used Venza. If you want to learn more about a Venza, please check out my YouTube channel where I walk you through short little tutorials on many of the great features that a Venza has to offer. So I lied, I had one more destination and one more feature to show you. The destination is at one of my favorite watering holes and the feature I'm gonna speak about is plotting GPS average. When you want a higher level accuracy of key important features, in Avenza you can record a GPS plot by a number of set fixes and it'll average it. Or you can set a duration of time It'll record your fixes and average them over that time duration. Anyways, well, time to go. And hopefully once this craziness is all over, you'll have an opportunity to come and visit Northwestern British Columbia, Canada. For me, it's time for me to enjoy one of these. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>